So with the saddle uh, fitted well now, uh, I'm going to turn uh, my attention to the table. And I've done some roughing work before on the table just to get it, uh, take care of the wear. The center of the table here was uh, dished out. Uh, from being used obviously that's the, the point that wears the most so I did some step scraping out here on the ends to somewhat flatten both sides out and um, at this point here uh, I'm gonna do some uh, just some hand scraping get some high spots out of this I roughed this in with the uh, power scraper I'm gonna do some hand scraping some spotting and just get it somewhat close and then take it, get it back on the uh, surface plate and uh, start mapping it out because I don't have a lot of room to take material off here. I have to take only enough to get it flat, parallel, and coplanar because um, I'm trying to keep this height in alignment with the, with the lead screw and the saddle fit. And so what I'm what I do is I I keep the table up at a little bit of an angle. It's easier to hand scrape at this uh, angle here. So this is what um, I've got a lot of blue on the uh, straight edge, just because this is a really rough surface, and I don't want to damage the uh, straight edge. So and then I'll just keep removing the blue as I spot and uh, let it get finer and finer and finer but um, so this is this is what we've got right now we've got a few we've got a few spots here that are high so I'll just keep working away keeping in mind that from the far end down to this end I've got two thou of taper across that four feet or 42 inches I think is yeah 42 inches the table is so I'm just gonna work a little bit more down at this end as I uh, as I try and get a little bit flatter surface I want to have a decent surface when I start looking at uh, parallelism from this to the top of the table and co how coplanar the two are height and uh, coplanar is important so that the top of the table sits flat relative to the uh, to the saddle So with just a, you know, probably I spent an hour here or so, I'm starting to get um, some flat spots here and it's changing, it's changing significantly enough in here that uh, I think, I think the opportunity is right now is to get this up on the surface plate and check this corner and this center spot here which should be the lowest spot and the far corner down there check them with the table up on the surface plate just to make sure where I am and then I will probably switch to the other side and do the exact same thing just start to uh, rough rough it into where I can get a flat spot and start doing some measurements like I said I can't overshoot this one I've got uh, only enough material here to get 
flat, parallel, coplanar. That's it. So er, early in the spotting process, it's important to look at the uh, master as well. You can see these marks here, particularly those ones right there, are indicating there's a really high spot, and this is down at one end. And basically, if you were to scrape based off the spotting you get on here, you'd be scraping the wrong places because down here at this end, something is holding the master up. So the table is uh, back up on the uh, surface plate here. And uh, I've done roughing on both of the ways just to get uh, uh, something decent that I can measure. And uh, I verified again with the uh, top of the table on the surface plate, the hinging. It's looking really good. It's about 70%. Uh, so it's flat, stayed flat. Nothing's changed there. And... Um, what I'm doing right now is just to get rid of surface condition is I'm just using a little block here and I've got the dial indicator set up on a on a on a, uh, a base here that I can move around on the surface plate and what I'm doing is I'm taking two measurements I'm measuring inside here and then I'm measuring outside uh, and I'm just using an old uh, tool holder here just to space so I end up with the same measurement as I go down here so what I've done is I've just zeroed this here and that's a tense indicator and then when I come out put the spacer in here so that I'm measuring the same distance all the way down So there's a couple of tenths of angle in that, but that's fine at this point. What I'm looking for at this at this point is anything really, really bad as I go down through. And then what is the difference between this end and the other end? So if you can see that there, that's a negative 5 tenths and that's a positive 5 tenths. So there's a thou dip down in towards there. So i got to be careful here. I'm just going to double check that. Yeah, something. Something happened there. Let's go back and see if this is zero here. Well, the indicator's moving or something. So I reset the indicator. I've been all the way down on the inside. I'm just coming back down here to check this end, make sure it stayed as a zero here. by a couple of tenths here. So I got one other spot that was a zero here.
And that's that's pretty consistently coming back to minus three four there. So now I'll do the same thing on the outside here. The worst is uh, from this end down to the other end. At the far end, there's a, there's it's rising up about uh, one thou and two tenths down there. So I've been all the way down to the other end, and uh, it's looking uh, consistent at least. There's a couple of spots where I've got some low spots I got to be careful with. I've come back down to this end. I've uh, verified that this is zeroing again here and at this point without moving the table I need to go to the other side and check how how uh, how close the heights are of the two ways map that side out and then decide which way I work on next to bring them in closer for height and then at that point I'll be able to start using the saddle to check how how coplanar the two ways are to one another versus the saddle which will have uh, two, the two surfaces par uh, flat and coplanar or in one plane which will tell me what the angle is of these ways relative to each other So without moving the table, so I'm still on the surface plate in the same spot, I'm checking now the opposite side. And I'm happy it's, uh, looks like it's within about a half a thou. I guess it would have been better if you could see that. So same thing, I'll just continue that down that side. So after after mapping both sides, um, what I've got going on is I've got, uh, I've got a spot in here that I'm going to call zero. Everything through here is, well, three, four tenths. And then down here at this end, I get upwards of uh, one to one point two thou. And like I said, through here, this is all under a half a thou. And then on the back side. Everything's about that hurt. So I've mapped everything out, and uh, from this side of the table, which is the front. Uh, there's a spot here that's uh, I'm calling that a zero spot and then everything in through here is plus or minus uh, three to four tenths and then down at this end there's a little bit of a, a high spot down here that's upwards of one to one point two thou which isn't a big deal just uh, we have to be aware of that and work that area 
and then on the the back side let me just double check what I got here then on the back side there's a spot in here which is negative eight tenths uh, everything over here is again plus plus or minus three to four tenths so that's just uh, spotting and scraping is going to take care of that and then down at this end same thing again down at this end although it's uh, although it's it doesn't get beyond a thou it's the highest point down here is about one thou so this in reality becomes the new target this becomes the zero target for um, a finished surface and then if if we hit that as a zero with a finished surface that will be that will then give us the least amount of material moved removed everywhere to get down to a a flat plane for the two ways So relative to this spot here, that means this spot is actually uh, plus 0 0.08 or 8 tenths. And then that means this is uh, almost 2 thou high. And then that is uh, 1.8 thou high there. So everything's got to come down to this spot over here at this point. But again, I'm going to work. I'm going to work these two ends and try and get them in line, and then bring both surfaces down to meet that point there. So this is uh, just off the surface plate and a spotting here, and this is the uh, left end, which was this was kind of a zero spot here. This was a little high, which is uh, good, and. Down at this end, this is the uh, plus one, plus 1.2 area, which again is good. The spotting's actually showing me what I want. So at this point, um, I'm going to work this end and kind of pivot from the other end. And then maybe just do a little bit of, of uh, scraping down here just to try and get down in closer to that zero. This is about uh, three, three tenths high in here right now.